everybody, this is Carol Hill again, and the genealogy tip I want to talk about now is about how to search the family search collections on this same page that we were at before. So hopefully you've watched the previous two videos. The first one was about how to look at record hints. The second one was how to search just on family search, and we were brought here, and in that video I showed how when we first did from Family Search, we did our search, we had 35,000 results right here. And so we added Alabama and updated the search, and now we have 542 searches. So you could actually go through all these searches of the 542 just by, by clicking through all of them and then coming, I'm actually on page two here, but you can go to the next page and go through all this 542. Well, I that is not what I like to do with my time. So what I like to do is click this other tab. Right here by this records tab is a collections tab. And you can just click the collections tab. And then this tells you, this just goes divides these up into different collections. Like this is birth, marriage, and death. Then there's the census and lists. There's migration and naturalization and military. And so... What you can do is the, you can look for a marriage or birth or death specifically by a collection. And this is showing the top five. So if you wanna see all of the birth, marriage and death hits, results, I guess is what they say, you can just click there and then you can come down and look through these specific databases and you can actually search on these too, which is nice. You, you could change the search over here on the left-hand side. <clears throat> And look at you know see if you can find them say there's you want to look at these deaths and there's 135 you might want to change the search a little bit you could even take off his R because maybe he just was John and so there's just a lot of different things that re, ways to refine the search but as you can see as I come down there's um, as you get down at the bottom there's Alabama deaths and burials and it gives you three results it gives you all these different results from different states just using his name so maybe he did die in a different state. I haven't found where he died yet. I think it was Florida, but, but anyway, I wanted to show you that because you can make sure you realize that you, there's more than just these top five. There's there's those some more too. And so take a look at these if you're trying to follow along and are doing this search. Take a look at these and see what else you can find. You might check out this World War I draft registration. He lived in Geneva County, Alabama and see if you can find him in that. So we will be back soon.